Got a rusty knife like this. Let's bring it back to life with some bushcraft magic. So first I'm gonna make a paste out of that baking soda and some of the water in the kettle, and I'm gonna to try to scrub it with that scrubby pad. And we will see if that works initially. If that does not work, I'm gonna move on to vinegar. Baking soda acts as a mild abrasive that helps loosen up the rust. I'm gonna put some water on the scrubby pad. And then I'm gonna put the baking soda on the blade itself. Now I'm gonna scrub it. See if that does it. Looking like it's coming off a little bit. Now again, this is just for just mild rust. If your rust is more pervasive, that's when you're gonna have to go over to vinegar. As you can see, it did a pretty good job, but it didn't get all of it. So now I'm gonna switch over to vinegar. Now you're gonna see it fizz up when I add the vinegar to the baking soda. Now the fizz is not a bad thing, and if anything, it helps to lift the rust. For this next part, I'm using 5% white vinegar. Watch the fizzy action. Do you hear it? For this next part, I'll be using tape and a plastic bag. Now, I want you to dry off the blade of your knife. I want you to take that plastic bag and wrap that handle and just to handle itself, try to expose the blade as much as you can. Almost like you're making a prison shank. Take your duct tape. And tape where the handle meets the blade. Because I'm going to soak it in vinegar. And I don't want the vinegar to damage my knife handle. So we're going to try to prevent that as best as we can. It's going to take a little more tape. Just for fun, I decided to make it look like a shank. Now I'm going to let it soak for about five hours. Look at this panoramic view. It's beautiful out here. Beautiful fall day. So rust is a form of corrosion that can weaken your blade. 
making it more prone to damage. And this can be especially bad when you're in the wilderness and you need that knife to be as effective as possible. Too much rust can dull your blade, making it less effective at cutting, chopping, or doing finer tasks around your camp. When using your knife to process food, that rust can actually carry bacteria and that can contaminate the food you're working on. So to stay sanitary, get rid of that rust. Removing that rust will slow its spread and it will extend the longevity of your knife and it just looks better. After five hours, it's as right as rain. So in conclusion, I highly recommend that you remove that rust. Don't let it go, because if you do, eventually you will have pitting along the sides and the edges of that knife, and that will weaken the integrity of your knife, which is something you definitely do not want. And once you're done removing that rust, I want you to dry it very well, and then I want you to apply an oil, something food grade, because I like to use my knife to process food at Archer's Primitive Skills Institute. The oils I would recommend on the ones I most use are mineral oil or linseed oil. And I will cover that in a future video. So, like, subscribe, check me out at survivalschoolmichigan.com, and I'll see you in the wild.